Hello everyone, this is Chris with Secret Fab. Today I'm going to be talking about our reverse magic harness for the 2021 and up Ford Bronco. Here's my Ford Bronco, our Ford Bronco. I found out yesterday that our two-door Bronco will be totaled. It got a little water over the door sills. If you don't know much about the Bronco, you will have some electrical stuff along the bottom. You can see a seat harness right there. And of course, through the door sills, you have two wiring harnesses that go right here. Because this one is a Sasquatch, um, you might have harness, uh, harnesses going on the other side too. This is a Sasquatch. It was a little higher. It was a little bit further up the driveway, so it didn't get any water over it. Hopefully we'll have something to replace that Bronco in the next couple of months. I think I know what to replace in it, but I don't want to tell you guys yet. That should be uh, pretty exciting for, for me, for, for Sticker Fab in general. Um, we also lost our Bronco Sport, but we, we knew that was done. It had water sitting in a tub and it actually moved. But anyway, if you didn't want to know anything about that, I hope you skipped forward because now we're going to actually talk about the harness. It is so horribly messy back here. Excuse me for that. This is the harness, pretty simple. It has OEM connectors on both sides. These wires are connected to both sides. And what this harness does is it allows you to use an auxiliary switch um, you could either have the factory ones, that's kind of what it was set up for, or you can run an aftermarket system uh, back to this corner and use your aftermarket um, switches to work on this. But it lets you override the normal reverse lights. So of course you go into reverse, your reverse lights come on. Now if you guys are setting up a campsite, you guys are out on the trail trying to look around, trying to spot the guy behind you, you have maybe stock lights or aftermarket lights. A lot of the aftermarket tail lights like the Oracle flush mounts are coming with really powerful integrated uh, reverse lights built in. I know a lot of you guys have Baja Designs, uh, reverse lights, all sorts of lights. Um, so you want to be able to kind of use those on demand. You can't necessarily always shut down your vehicle, put it in reverse to get those lights on. You kind of want to have a manual override and this is what this is. Everything will work normally when you reverse, your reverse lights will come on. It also has a wire that you can connect so that whenever your taillight reverse lights come on because you're actually in reverse, uh, it can light up your auxiliary lights as well or you can wired in at another location that I've made so that those lights won't come on normally with your reverse, your factory reverse uh, tail lamps, but you'll have to hit the switch to turn them on always. So if you're worried about blinding people with your setup, uh, anytime you go into reverse, you could wire it that way that it has to have the switch to make it go on. Or if you don't care, you can just wire it up so that every reverse light you have comes on when you hit that switch. Now. These switches, they only come on, the factory ones, when your vehicle is on. So our vehicle is on right now. Of course, no reverse lights. If we hit auxiliary four, Our lights are coming on. Now, if I wired up any auxiliary lights, I could get them to come on right now as well. Now, this doesn't interfere. Hopefully we are not on a big slope. I'm gonna turn that back off and I'm gonna set this down. Okay. That little thing under the tire is keeping this thing from rolling out in the parking lot. See, normal reverse lights come on even if you're Auxiliary switch was on, it would still be on. Let's take it out, put it back in park, and of course because our auxiliary switch is on, our reverse lights are on. So this is our auxiliary uh, reverse magic harness. Basically it's allowing you guys to utilize your aftermarket setups or even with a stock lamp you can wire it in to turn those lights on on demand. Someone tailgating you or whatnot, that's totally not legal, but you can get them off your butt 
if you flip on your auxiliary switch. Now, we will be discounting these for people that buy uh, any aftermarket taillights and want to purchase them. Um, basically, if you buy it from us, you'll be able to get a discount at the time of purchase. If you install your taillights and later decide to buy these, you don't need to actually remove your taillights to install these. You can remove these four fasteners right there, plastic fasteners. These two bolts, take this out, kind of pop all this out, and then you can wire them together. We will do an install at one point, but you'll need to pop these out too, just to pull this a little bit. And then you can route the wires over there through here so you kind of protect them against the elements. And then the factory auxiliary runs a wire down to right around here. So you have to kind of pop all this off. We still have one panel down and then route it behind here. Not a huge deal. You will have to, with the OEM system, connect one of the wires here to another wire so that you get a live wire down in the passenger area. There's about three wires back here. You have to do another connection. This will come with five inline insulated terminals so you can get that done. I want to say that it is really tough to get in and crimp wires on the inside and even here a little bit. It gets super tight. So hope you've done your yoga, hope you've done your stretching when you decide to get to that, but not a completely impossible install. Thank you guys for all your continued support, especially after Hurricane Ian. Please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for the latest and greatest things we're coming out with for the 2021 and up Ford Bronco.